Ben and I have been binging Avatar The Last Airbender because it's actually my oh, first time yeah. ever watching it. And we were planning on watching on Sunday, and I was like, well, I'm too into it at this point. I got, <laughs> I got to keep going. Yeah, I got you. It happens. I'm it's surprised at how good it is. Like, yeah. Everyone's told me how great it is, and I'm like, yeah, sure. And then I'm watching it, and I'm just <laughs> getting so invested. It's great. Anyway, back to the <laughs> match. I'm a little surprised that, okay, actually, Vendetta going uh, Belmont's is... Yeah, he's going sense. to Richter game one. He's not, he doesn't want to give away the, the first Ken game. As we were talking about earlier. I know he doesn't like uh, zoners as Ken, so I guess his plan is to outzone them, which it's not a bad game plan because the Richard. Belmonts have enough kill power off of their conversions and just incredible range. Not getting the punish on the up B, but yeah, I feel like the Belmonts definitely do have some good anti zoner potential. Because I think the main thing is just a lot of their moves are just beefier than other zoners' moves. Yeah. Like that move right there, Axe, Cross. Yeah, this is actually the matchup I was interested in earlier. I really wanted to see Richter versus me, Gunner. Well, here we go with the highest level example in our state, yeah. by far. These are yeah. these are the two zoning characters with like the most with the most to dodge, right? Yeah. They just have such a variety of like angles and options that they can cover. And the Belmonts have. Their projectiles are pretty slow, all things considered, but they've also just got the whip. Yeah, the, the, the Richter's F tilt is the most insane <laughs> move in this game. <laughs> yeah, they just have good buttons sometimes in the air. They're just especially because of like C stick tilting, like yeah. getting downward angled like that. Yep. Like downward angled back air or upward angled or there's just so many possibilities with the character when it comes to like how you govern neutral. Yeah, definitely. Like. That's why a lot of people are uh, kind of freaking out about um, Byleth because they're just like, she doesn't have the same, you know, she doesn't seem to have the same tilt with her forward air and back air, and they're just like, it's going to be bad. It's not going to be the same as the Belmonts. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be completely honest. My initial impression of Byleth is they don't look that good to me, but we'll see. The character's not out yet. Who really cares? Speculation Ooh. before the get can before the character is even out, doesn't really matter that much. At best, it's a general idea. At best. Yeah, but I don't know. It'll definitely be interesting, and uh, I want to see who decides to end up picking her up eventually, or picking them up eventually. I know we've got some people locally who are actually thinking of uh, picking them up. Uh, not surprisingly, that happens literally every single time a new character is released. Yeah. But I'm kind of the real test will be seeing how long they stay, as yeah, with definitely. all new characters. We have one dedicated Terry main in Georgia that does decently bonsai, but there aren't really any others that I can think of off the top of my head. I feel like it's just like the Ken mains that we have kind of just pick them up as well. Like I know Akechi plays a little bit of them, and I know Vendetta plays a little bit of them, but like they don't really pull them out too often in bracket. I feel like Terry and Ken kind of have a lot of. A decent amount of similar matchup spreads. For sure. They would probably just be pretty redundant, if I had to guess, but... I don't know. There are some options that I do know, like... I know some people do feel more comfortable about some matchups, just because, like, focus attack is just such a good uh, option sometimes in uh, landing and stuff like that. Yeah, and these are such scary percents. Yeah, up throw? But me, Gunner, doesn't have a kill throw. Like, that's probably not going to kill for another 20%. I feel like back, oh, back throw at the ledge sometimes kills. Ooh. Not getting the F-tail. God, that's so scary. I don't Is that it? Oh, wow. Wow, I'm a little surprised. I think he might have messed up his DI there, because his DI on the first up throw rep looked pretty solid. And then I guess maybe he was trying something new, and it backfired. I guess. I don't... Yeah, like... I don't know. It makes, it still makes me sad that me, Gunner's up throw and back throw still connect better than Falco's, but that's a different conversation to have, but yeah. Like, well, that's a symptom of this game having a rush development. There's yeah. a lot of wonky stuff in this game that doesn't necessarily seem wonky by design. It seems wonky because it just wasn't... There wasn't, wasn't, enough, time, yeah. it wasn't enough time spent like programming it. There's just a lot of goofy stuff like that in this game. It's still a great game aside from that, but man, 
Who knows? Maybe in 7.0, like, they'll tone down. Or not tone down, but, like, clean up some more stuff like that. It'd be good. Yeah, they've been they've been seeming to clean up a decent amount of stuff, so let's definitely see. Interesting, Richter F to just sending the bomb right back and smack him in the face with it. Yeah, the fun thing about uh, that particular down B is that it's actually pretty uh, easily influenced by other movements, but it's usually only going to happen specifically against lower knockback moves because anything decently strong will just pop it. But like jabs or whatever will just nudge it in a direction, which doesn't really matter that much, but you can like literally knock it away from you sometimes. Yeah, like, yeah, it was, it was like weak hit Richter F tilt, so yeah, it makes sense. Right. F smash, just cross up protection. See if Vendetta can get a decent amount of extra credit before I go to close out this stock. Also, I would just like to say for the record, I actually love watching the Belmonts. Me this too. character is so cool. Yeah, they they definitely have a lot of cool options, especially when, like, I don't know, you have to play in a very unique style, and it it it's definitely a fun thing to watch. And there's so I, much I don't know precision. if we've seen this interaction yet, but if Richter jumps on the bomb, does he jump up before, like, the bomb explodes? Um, that's interesting. I don't know. I lean towards yes, because well, of the way the bomb is. I'm yeah, because like it, it, like, has a slight delay, right? Before, when, when, because when the bomb takes damage, it explodes, but it has a slight delay. I think it How does that work with grenades, percentage. too? Because I'm pretty sure Richter just jumps off the grenade. I think so, but I don't know. I don't know like grenades, question, grenades are triggered by literally everything, whereas uh, the me gunner grenades—they're like they only pop once they've taken X amount of damage. Mm -hmm. At least I think so because you can like nudge it with jabs, like like you'll nudge it and then it explodes. Like it doesn't explode immediately, mm -hmm. or like yeah. see off. So I'm pretty sure that if Rick, Richter can down air off of it. Yeah, so but it also like depends on like where the bomb gets sent, and like maybe it might just end up hitting Richter on the way up or something. I don't know. Right. That Ooh. was a really good read. Yep. Ooh. See if he can get off the ledge. Man, this is our winners finals at 404. Two zones. Not really what it, not really what anyone was expecting, but I think it's pretty interesting to watch. Yeah, not what it usually is, but definitely interesting. Belmonts are so sick. I have a soft spot for the character. <laughs> like, I really like the Belmonts. Um, Link is another really sick zoner in my opinion. Um, yeah, he definitely has some cool options. When played to his maximum potential, it definitely has some very interesting options and uh, for sure cool looking shit that they can do. And I love that you can tilt their forward air and back air. Like that allows for such not really getting the punch off the That allows fire. for such like specific call outs that are really nice to see. Like Yeah. It just allows them to like as you said earlier, govern neutral in such a oh my demanding God. way. Suddenly a glimmer of life has awoken in Icota. Or oh. maybe not. Yeah. So much for that. Vendetta decided to shut me up. <laughs> he had a good read on movement, and from there was able to clutch out a meaningful downer upbeat, which is yep. actually a pretty decent kill confirm for the character, especially since a lot of the times you want to kind of force the Belmonts into the air, and then their way of naturally countering the, acting that is to either down air past you, or like down air and then just pop off your shield and then just the dip. It's 1 1 now. Yeah. Well, it is two zoners. <laughs> it does take a minute for them to build up percent and deal with each other, but I don't know. They're, also doing, they're doing a very good job, like, kind of moving around each other's projectiles. So it, it is a lot of, like, mind games and just, like, slowly kind of figuring out what options they can take in different situations. Interesting. Switching it up. Yeah. I think one thing is that... Me, Gunner will probably win neutral a little more often than the Belmonts will, but the Belmonts just do more damage and they're way more explosive. Like, they yep. can get, like, 
Holy Water confirms an F Smash and kill really early. They can get F Smash reads that kill really early. They can get down air setups or like. Or they can do like Axe into like up B setups. Like I saw Vendetta kill Sunido at like 40 because he got like down air, down air, up B or some nonsense like that at the last 404. Damn. <laughs> like this character can do stuff like that. It's just not super common by any means. I think Ikado just wants like a, a change of pace because I feel like he was just like feeling a little, probably just feel oh. And I feel like me, Gunner, isn't really a character that will just delete you off of reads yeah. the way that they can. Yeah, definitely. But uh, this Lu Lucas pick, I think he's just kind of like, I think he was just reading, uh, you know, getting used to me, Gunner's options and stuff like that. And he's kind of just like, I need to mix it up and see, see what I can do with this Lucas. I don't know. I feel like Lucas gets pretty hard outranged air to air that was such by a good the Belmonts. I don't know if uh, Vendetta knew about that, but Lucas, I can't remember the exact frames, but there's it actually has invincibility for like a solid, I want to say five frames of its startup. So you can use it as like a quasi spot dodge where you read them pressing a button near you and then you just ignore it and up smash them. Is it invincibility or is it just invincibility? Super okay, it, so it will just flat out ignore whatever. Dang, <laughs> it's pretty good. Makes so sense. like, if like you read, if you would get a read that you could use a spot dodge for, but they're gonna be near you and they're at like the right percent, it's we're just doing it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And Obviously, it, it, it's way yeah. riskier, but you also get a ton out of it, so it's worth it. Ooh. This yeah. might be Vendetta's 404. He's been playing so good. Yeah, like, I feel like this matchup just works well for the Belmonts because, like, I don't know, I feel like they just have so much better range on basically all of their moves than Lucas does. Like, air to air, like, he's just keeping him out with the whip. And that would have killed, too. That definitely would have, but. Belmont's space control and reward for reads is just really good. Yep. And right now, he's just. When you notice the defensive options he's choosing, he's willing to get hit, but he's making sure that if he does get hit, he's not getting hit by things that will lead to meaningful conversions. Ooh. And as I speak, <laughs> as he slips up. Uh, is that it? Oh, not quite. Which is just a really good way to play when you've got a lead, to l really leverage it and force them to just earn every last bit of it in a war of attrition. Yep. I caught it doing a little bit better this stock, trying to, like, he's, he's getting a little bit more meaningful conversions now. Only problem is he's still knocking on death's door with yep. so much as a stern glance in his direction is enough <laughs> to set him off Yeah, as it does that game. Definitely quite light, so. But, yeah, Vendetta just playing really well those last two games. I have to wonder, I could have someone who also plays Ness, although I, I don't know. We saw him earlier in this set uh, against uh, who was it? Against Name Fireball. He played two games in Ness and then ended up switching to the Meat Gunner last game to close out the set. Wait, who did he go? He went Ness versus uh, Fireball. No, no. Okay, oh, Gunner. He went back gunner. to Gunner. That's what I expected, but yeah, I, th I just don't think the the Lucas has the same pressure in the air, like. Me Gunner at least has something to, like, they have projectiles to throw out consistently. Whereas Lucas, like, what is he, what is he gonna do to beat the whip? Like, nothing. Right. <laughs> like, that bomb went flying. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing about the Belmont whip. I feel like it does just little damage to where you'll be able to pop it. Or not pop it immediately, uh -huh. but... Just an, but it also has the right angle to where you can specifically dictate its direction and create op options like that. Yeah, it's definitely quite interesting. Not going for the up B out of the, the down air. It's probably just looking for an op or looking for Icoda to commit to an option because he just wants to call it out and end the stock a little bit earlier. Rather than just go for the extra percent. That down smash is such a scare. Do I play you? All right, good luck. Excuse me, I've got to play bracket now. All righty, well, go ahead and close out 
or, you know, finish up game four. Let's see how it goes. Echo definitely doing a little bit of a better job zoning out Vendetta this stock. He's getting into his groove again on FD, able to kind of put out his projectiles and not get beat out by the Belmont's just stronger moves in general. But let's see if Vendetta can find a conversion or two to, you know, bring this game back into his, into his liking. Great bomb into up air conversion by Coda to close out that stock. Vendetta not being able to get a foothold on this game yet. Just getting hard zoned out by by Coda's tools right now. Let's see if he can get a con good conversion off this. Might be dead? Nope, not quite. Dakota just slowly chipping away at Vendetta's percent right now. Ooh. F tilt not gonna connect quite yet. Is this losers? Wait. This what? is winner's finals. Winner's finals? Yep. <laughs> what a surprise. The two top seeds are not in winner's finals. Yep. So let me guess. Icoda ups or I I guess it's an upset. Upset Sunido and then Vendetta upset Fatality? Yep. All right, interesting. So, uh, looks That's like Vendetta's going to lose. Wait, it was 2-2? Two -two? Yeah, 2-2. Oh, two no. two. oh, now it's 2-2. Two -two. Yep. Okay, so I'm just hopping <laughs> right into the Game 5 action. Yep. Uh, pretty exciting. Yeah, it's definitely be a, been a interesting set. Like, first, Ikota won the first game. Vendetta won two games in a row. And then oh, now, uh, Ikota definitely just got a foothold back in uh, switching back to me gunner game three he tried to pull out the Lucas and just got it just got shut down oh yeah yeah I can see that 100% he's been going Richter all set yep okay yeah I mean Richter's a great pick against the me uh, the me gunner just because you need you need a way to just break zones and you know what better way than to just set up your own zone yeah like the Belmonts just have very good tools against other zoners like as I said earlier like the axe and the cross just kind of lead to so much and holy fire on ledge just makes it so they can't really do much and you know setting up into that beautiful f tilt that richter has definitely and i feel like me gunner really just doesn't have too many options for the ledge trapping that uh richter provides for uh, vendetta could be a challenge and oh man we're gonna see uh already almost 100 percent on icoda really gotta step it up in this game an interesting pick to Unova. I don't know what the benefit is for Richter, but I'm going to find out. I have absolutely no clue. I do not see this stage very often. But it's definitely quite interesting. Yeah, I can see the platform right there, you know, helping out Vendetta. It wouldn't in FD. Um, oh, my gosh. That was so close. Not Almost getting, getting the conversion. conversion yeah. Ooh, and the axe. Catching him out, trying to get the edge guard. Like, yeah, I don't know. Icoda just has to find really weird ways to move around those projectiles because Gunner's movement off stage is quite hard to do. Definitely. And it was almost like that axe just like magnetically stuck to Icoda. Yeah, it, well, it's, it's a pretty fat hitbox. Yeah, that's true. Much bigger than it uh, leads on, I believe. Wow, okay, so... Living. Man, that's oh. dropping of his... Oh, my... What even happened? I think the wall just made it so the grenades just kept coming and kept coming and kept coming and he, yeah. like, yeah, I think his his tether grab got canceled by one of them and then he tried to up B and then just into ended another dying. grenade and it's just rinse and repeat for Icota right there. Yep. Something he's you know accustomed to you know just that simple lead shot but I believe it's down B I want to say it seems I like it would be. Think. Um, no, I think it's neutral B. Is, do, you, do you think? And then the down B is that little like. Grenade, yeah, grenade. because I know you can do the charge shot and the down, the like the the round grenade. Oh, okay, okay. And see. he doesn't have the charge shot in this variation, so I'm assuming that neutral B is the the rolling grenade. Yeah, that makes sense. Good insight. But Vendetta still in command in this game five, just 
trying to find his way in, but I could have making it very difficult. The zone is so hard to break, but here we go. Oh man, that axe going through everything. Not getting the punish on the uh, the early up B on of Icoda, but now he's in the <laughs> just gonna chill. Yeah, and Icoda was you know not really in great position to start setting up that neutral B, the little you know rockets coming down, but. Yeah, he's definitely doing a good job, like, throwing them on stage so he doesn't get ledge trapped himself as definitely. well now. Because you have to respect it. You don't want to get hit by it and then lose the stage control against Meat Gunner. That's just worst case scenario, to be honest. Yeah, and he's got some pretty nasty knockback. Definitely. Oh, man, just clipping through the shield. Maybe too much damage in the shield bug. Oh, my goodness. Last stock for Icoda. Great fair to call out that jump and end out that stock. Let's see, let's see how much percent Vendetta can get right now to kind of cement his lead in this game. Definitely. Oh, and we're seeing it racked on right now. The axe going through everything. I don't know what kind of metal that thing is made out of, but... it's it's It has one of the strongest priorities of the game. It's Definitely. It's pretty insane. It's that vampire blessing. It's, and it's just got such a solid thunk sound when it hits, too. I know. It's gross. I hate it. I hate getting hit by it, that's for <laughs> sure. But Vendetta oh, yeah. is loving it. Yeah. Like, hitting it feels amazing, but getting hit by it just... Hurts your soul. Definitely. Oh man, is that a down smash that came out from Mycota? Yep. Already setting it up. Here we go. Let's see. Let's go on a ride. Man. And the tether grab getting canceled again. Not fast enough. And that tether grab into the ledge is super fast, but. Yeah, I guess it makes sense because they technically have to drop once they grab the ledge. Yeah. So I it's believe uh, you're right on that. Definitely. Great timing on Akoto's part to just say, no, you cannot use your tether recovery. And yep. Richter's up B, also horrible. Ooh, <laughs> great DI. Amazing DI. I don't know how he lived. Yeah, I don't know how he lived. That was up B at 122 after hit. Uh-oh. Vendetta, Vendetta is all too familiar with this already. Losing so many stocks to it. Could this be the demise? Oh, no. They're not quite going off the ledge. He, he keeps neutral get upping right yeah. into them, and that's it. No, oh? he's still alive. Oh, my And he my didn't have God. a jump. He's going to fall on Vendetta after that. I feel like he could have, like, waited a second and rolled or done something. Like, he just kept neutral getting, getting up. Like, it, it. it was, like, almost just, I don't know. It was, like, an, a buffer thing. I'm not sure. Because 